Hi friends, my name is Trish Roberts. You're watching Faith Signals from Vega. So, um, I thought I would share with you uh, Nico Pilads. Uh, he was, he's the son of an um, Israeli general and he's written books and he's a, a big supporter of uh, the BDS movement and the Palestinians. And um, he, he wrote this, uh, this to all the BDS supporters, that's boycott, divestments, and sanctions supporters. And I thought I would share this with you, so bear with me. Um, so he says, dear, to d dear supporter, today marks the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people, and we celebrate the extraordinary strides the BDS movement for Palestinians has made with your support. We are exposing Israel's crimes and apartheid policies and building pressure to end them. Please donate to help us do more in the year ahead. I'm not sure what charity is talking about there, but I'll find out and I'll leave a link. Here are just a few highlights of direct and indirect BDS impact from 2018. Just last week, and before I go on, um, the reason BDS is important, that's how, that's what ended the apartheid situation in the apartheid state of South Africa. Um, um, I'm old enough to remember that, it worked very well. Celebrities stopped going to South Africa, um, people stopped buying South African products and so forth. That's how, that's the main reason the apartheid state of South Africa came to an end. So just like last week, Airbnb decided it, it no longer profit, it would no longer profit from most illegal Israeli settlements or stolen Palestinian land. This followed an international campaign led by the uh, hashtag Stolen Homes coalition of organizations affiliated with the BDS movement for Palestinian rights and human rights organizations. Earlier this month, Ihan Omar uh, made history by becoming the first sitting Congress person to publicly endorse BDS. Rashida Talib, the first Palestinian American woman elected to Congress, praised the BDS movement and supported cutting U.S. military aid to Israel. And I'd like to note that Tim Canover and Andrew Gillum and people like that, who people laud as progressive, refused to endorse BDS. Uh, and that also includes Beto um, O'Rourke, who will probably be the the new favorite uh, for the run for 2020 in, as a president. He's totally on board with APAC and all that sort of thing. Mobilizations across the world convinced Argentina's national football team, led by Captain Lionel Messi, to cancel its exhibition match with Israel. Celebrity singer Donna Alana Del Rey became one of 19 artists to withdraw from Israel's Meteor Festival after thousands of fans and activists from around the world urged her to respect the Palestinian picket line. Shakira and Lord were among other top artists to cancel their concerts in Israel this year. More than a hundred DJs and electronic music artists joined the cultural boycott of Israel under hashtag DJs for Palestine. Major organizations from the Indian women's movement, representing over 10 million women, endorsed the BDS movement and demanded the release of all Palestinian child prisoners. Amnesty International called for an arms embargo on Israel. It slammed the United States and the European Union for their military deals with Israel and held them responsible for, quote, fueling mass violations, end quote, of Palestinian human rights. It's weird about Amnesty International, it, um, they, they're all over the place. One minute they're doing very little, but doing other things that probably are less important. And also supporting regime change sometimes. I mean, I, I don't know. But anyway, it's good that the Amnesty International is uh, at least doing this, supporting Palestinian rights. The UK Labour Party recently voted to freeze arms sales to Israel. In Ireland, a minister of um, state and 50 Irish lawmakers called for Ireland to stop um, arming Israel. Earlier, Dublin became the first European capital to endorse BDS for Palestinian rights. 
Parliamentarians from Spain and Portugal took a stand for Palestinian rights and denounced Israel's war crimes and racist, quote, Jewish nation state law, end quote. Several cities in Italy and the Spanish state called for an arms embargo in Israel. The Movement for Black Lives released a powerful statement of solidarity with the Palestinian people and called for the United States to end its $38 billion in annual military aid to Israel. Forty international Jewish social justice organizations recognize that the BDS Movement for Palestinian Rights has a proven commitment to, quote, fighting an anti-Semitism and all forms of racism and bigotry, end quote. They condemned attempts to stifle criticism of Israel's policies. A 2018 Nobel Peace Prize winner in chemistry, Professor George P. Smith, expressed support for the BDS movement and for cutting U.S. military aid to Israel. Adidas stopped sponsoring the Israel Football Association, the IFA, which includes teams based in illegal settlements built on stolen Palestinian land after appeals from more than 130 Palestinian sports clubs. Trade unionists and human rights activists in Tunisia and across the Arab world faced Israel's Zim shipping line to suspend its routes to Tun Tunisia. The Canadian Federation of Students, representing more than 500,000 students, just voted at their annual general meeting to back the BDS movement. Leeds became the first UK university to divest from firms involved in Israel, Israel's arm trade, arms trade, following a BDS campaign by Palestine solidarity activists. The university has divested more than 1.2 million in holdings from corporations that trade military equipment from Israel. Quakers became the first church in the UK to say they, quote, will not invest in any company, company profiting from Israel's military occupation, end quote. Recently, several US churches have also voted to divest from Israel's Israeli and international companies complicit in Israel's violation of Palestinian human rights. From South Africa, Nikosi Zvelai, I'm sorry, it's Z-W-E-L-I-V-E-L-I-L-E, Sikosi Zvali Mandela, a member of parliament and Nelson Mandela's grandson, has affirmed the critical role BDS is playing to end Israeli apartheid. Miked uh, Peled says, um, Together we can and will make the words, quote, freedom, justice and equality, end quote, not an aspiration but a reality. Solidarity, Omar Baguti, the Palestinian BDS National Committee, um, the Palestinian BDS National Committee, is the largest coalition in Palestinian civil society. It leads and supports the global boycott, divestment and sanctions movement for Palestinian rights. So um, that's a great thing and uh, it's wonderful to see that it's really starting to, things are starting to um, take a turn for the better. Um, it's taken many, many decades since the Nakba in 1948. There's been brutal, a brutal occupation and the killing of many, many, many thousands of Palestinians, women, children, and uh, men, and it's just appalling. And it's just, it, if you look into it, I've often mentioned the Empire Files with Abby Martin. Please check out the seven programs that she's done, that they've done, Mike and Abby and Dan Cohen. They've all gone to, uh, to uh, the West Bank, and they've done a wonderful job of illustrating um, what a, an appalling situation it is for Palestinians. And check out the documentary Killing Gaza with Max Blumenthal uh, and Dan Cohen. They did that together. Um, it's a wonderful documentary. Uh, I've seen it. It's, it's very powerful and very disturbing. So please check that out if you don't understand this situation. Please check out those programs on the Empire Files and Max Blumenthal and Dan Cohen's documentary Killing Gaza, which you can find on Vimeo. 
Okay, well, thanks so much. Join the BDS campaign. It's the, the only way now, I think, that we will bring apartheid to an end in Israel. And uh, because a, a huge majority of the public really are completely lost. They are full-on racist in, in relation to Palestinians. They've sort of been indoctrinated and now they're openly calling a lot of them for, uh, you know, openly for a genocide of Palestinians. So, you know, that's where it's at and that's why there needs to be global internationalist pressure to end this dreadful situation for Palestinians. Okay, thanks so much for watching. My name is Trish Roberts. You're watching Faint Signals from Vega. Don't forget to go vegan, howtogovegan.org. Check it out. Peace.